much for that. At the same time, the family of a South Sudanese political and human rights activist who has been living in Kenya for the last two years is in distress after their kin was arrested on Saturday last week by unknown people and taken to an undisclosed location. Maurice Mabior Awikjok, who was seeking asylum in Kenya following a fallout with some government officials back in South Sudan, was picked up by armed people believed to be police officers from his Kangundo Road house in Nairobi. And as our very own Emily Jabet reports, some officers from a nearby police post claim that detectives from the Kenya Anti-Terror Police Unit were behind the arrest. The ATPU has since denied the claims. Take a listen. A house in disarray, a clear indication of a confrontation that occurred on Saturday evening between the occupants of this house and people believed to be police officers. According to Angelina Aliette, the wife of the missing activist, five men and a woman trailed her husband from the shop to the house and demanded that she opens the door. The armed men who came in two vehicles ransacked the house without uttering a word. They confiscated their phones and laptops and other valuables before handcuffing a husband, Maurice Mabior Awikjog. He always says he is not happy with how South Sudanese government is doing things. He always questioned the government and hold it responsible for all the suffering. He's going to talk about these issues, about this corruption, about this one man who is taking the country as his own thing. Uh, he believes this one person is actually holding the democracy of the country in his hand. He's the one who decides what to do with people and what not to do. So he felt like this guy is the one destroying the country. He has been pleading with the president most of the times to actually replace him with somebody that can do better. Four days later, the family of Mabior has no idea of his whereabouts, with a few social media posts indicating that he may have been taken back to his country. She doesn't know whether the people that were sent here were from Kenyan government or a calls government that sent his people and abduct my husband. They have not informed us about his arrest as the family and friends. Nobody has confirmed anything to us. We just, for us now, we are thinking of the worst. Maybe he has fallen like the rest of the people that were also taken from here in Kenya and they have been assassinated. Two police officers stationed at Hallingham East Police Post just meters from Abir's house told Citizen TV that officers from the anti-terror police unit based in Nairobi area took Mabior. ATPU has since denied the claims. Amnesty International has since condemned Mabior's arbitrary arrest and detention. In a statement, Amnesty International Executive Director Hutton Irungu says in part, Amnesty International has documented numerous arbitrary detentions by the government of South Sudan through the National Security Service in multiple facilities where detainees are often subjected to torture and other ill treatment, some held in communicado without access to a lawyer or family members. Irungu is calling on the Kenyan and South Sudanese authorities to get to the bottom of this. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.